yeah check this out folks what I got here is a Sterling engine and of course what you do is you fill this up with alcohol or some other flammable fluid you burn a candle on this glass globe right here it makes the piston move and it turns the flywheel and in this case on this one I've got it hooked up to a generator that generates electricity and this this particular model comes set up like this I bought it pre pre-assembled like this what an amazing little machine this is oh I love it and if you're a prepper then you will really love this because this engine will run on uh, it'll run on pine sap it'll run on candle wax it'll run on cooking oil lamp oil gasoline and a whole variety of other things even even map gas or a torch you know you burn a torch on it if you burn a torch on this thing it, it'll absolutely run at top speed and it'll produce plenty enough electricity to uh, charge up all of your handheld devices like cell phones, radios, car batteries, um, uh, just anything like that. Portable power packs. Uh, this little machine will charge any of that stuff. And as you can see, you know, you see, you see my hand right here. It's not that big of a machine. This machine would fit in a backpack or whatever. Not that you'd want to go carry this around the woods, but you know, from a prepper standpoint, um, if you're enduring months, months of time in, in the wilderness or in a collapsing society kind of scenario, uh, being able to generate electricity and, and being able to have an engine that'll produce momentum uh, to do tool, tool work with is a really valuable thing. And this little machine right here could easily be converted over to operate a lathe or some other tool like that. Some other light duty uh, tool making kind of machine like that. And you know, for a prepper in need of making a hundred arrows today, this little machine right here could absolutely make that happen. Turn this around, look at the other side of it. You see there's a Bunsen burner right there, glass globe. You can see the piston moving. See the piston in there? Piston turns this drive link right here. So it's a pretty simple little machine. And it's powerful enough to do the do the work I just said it would do. See it comes factory ready to generate electricity. That, that's what this one's set up to do. You see the contactors right there. This is a DC generator. So it'll it'll produce DC electrical current. But also back here you see this flywheel right here this is also grooved and you can easily put a belt off of that and run a tool off of it although it have reduced reduced strength yeah so this is a pretty ma amazing little machine right here i intend to use this one a lot yeah this one's way nicer than the ones I've owned in, in the past as shiny and clean as this one is brand new looking it almost looks like a it should be in a dentist's office or something I mean it just it looks like a medical tool or something it's so clean and shiny but believe me I'm gonna make it work a lot harder than that and it will this little machine right here is a workhorse and you may think because it's got a glass glass globe right here and it uses a a glass Bunsen burner you, you may think that makes it cheap but it really doesn't uh, th this tool right here has a 
a really long life expectancy and parts like this that could possibly break are easily replaceable and they're inexpensive too and in fact this this machine came with a spare with, with spare parts to uh, to replace these with in case something happens to them and then uh, other spares can be easily ordered So you can stock up on you know the, those parts that might break. You can stock up on those and have a you know a good back stock of supply of those. You know just like you would a uh, uh, spark plugs for your engine and you know, oil filters and stuff like that. You know if you're a prepper, you you stock back stuff to take care of your engines. You do, you do the same thing with this one here. Yes sir folks, that's a Sterling engine. And I plan on using this a whole lot for different things. Especially generating electricity to charge my cell phones and stuff. That really cut down on the energy consumption that I'm that I'm spending. You can easily take this out, take the Bunsen burner out, and this will hold a tea light. You can put tea lights in there also. They work just as well. And of course, you know, tea lights, they can be extremely inexpensive.